everybody. Welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Hana Sakai Tower. And we are going to be kicking off round three, which is groups five and six. Rat Meow. All right. First up in group five, we've got Lily the Dog from Lily's Boneyard in that Maverick Grabber. Look at hot in that black grabber. And she'll be joined by Gray Wizard from Golden Owl Racing in that Morris Mini. Looking sharp with that motor. And joining those two, Big Al from Big Al's Custom Diecast in that Ford GT90. And last but certainly not least, it's Buck Wild, a newcomer to the rim who is driving for Mrs. Kraken Motorsports. Man, I dig that name from Buck Wild and Mrs. Kraken Motorsports. Here they are lined up for lap one. You got Lily and Gray Wizard on the front row, Buck Wild and Big Al on the back row. Here we go. Lap one, group five. And Lily the dog gets the whole shot, followed by Gray Wizard. Gray Wizard spins, but here goes Lily the dog to take the win. Wait, is she the only one to cross? Here comes Buck Wild. Oh no. What happened to the other two drivers with a double DNF? Check out the replay here on the backside. Gray Wizard spins around, coming around the helipad turn, and Buck Wild just trying to push his way through as well as Big Al. Here they come down the Kaiju Blue on the middle straight. And man, not quite sure what's happening there. Let's see the Kaiju Lair Cam. There it is. Oh, Golden Owl comes off the lair. And Big Al just gives a little nudge, a little nudge to Buck Wild right there, but unable to keep going himself. And Golden Owl and Big Al with a big old goose egg right there on lap one. Only ones with points on the board is Lily the dog and Buck Wild, who are now on the front row. Big Al and Golden Owl, Gray Wizard on the back row. Here they go, lap two. Oh, Buck Wild hits Kickapoo pass. He hits Kickapoo, and there goes Big Al. Big Al taking the win, followed by Lily the dog. Another double DNF, only two cars crossed in the lap. Say it isn't so, say it isn't so. Check out the replay here. Buckwild gets the whole shot over Crix and slams into Kickapoo Pass. That is unfortunate. We're going to slow down so you can see it in extra slow motion. Bam! Right meow, right there. Man, Buckwild gets taken out by Kickapoo and also takes out the Gray Wizard. That is not good. Two DNFs for the Gray Wizard. I don't know if you can come back from that. Man, Buckwild and Gray Wizard with a double DNF. Here they are for lap three. Gray Wizard with the only car, only driver without any points. Looks like Lily Dog starting to pull away. She'll be on the back row with the Gray Wizard. Let's see what happens here on lap three. Big Al gets out in front. Here comes Golden Owl. Golden Owl spins, but he's challenging. He's challenging in reverse and almost, almost passes. Big Al, Big Al taken first place. Golden Owl in second. Look at the replay here. Big Al and the Gray Wizard just drafted around the sewer vent turn spawners, sponsored by Kenny's KBAB, and they just start pulling away from Buck Wild and Lily the dog. And the Gray Wizard spins out in the middle of the Kaiju Blue, and you think that's all he wrote, but no, he actually starts challenging Big Al in reverse. I can't believe what I'm seeing right there. And Buck Wild comes in third, Lily the dog in fourth. Fourth and final lap, let's see the points. Man, oh, Big Al, Big Al and Lily the dog. Can Buck Wild, can Buck Wild get into the quarterfinals in this fourth and final lap? We're gonna have to see. Here goes Gray Wizard. Gray Wizard gets a whole shot. Gray Wizard spins. Big Al, Lily the dog, Buck Wild right there. And Gray Wizard takes first place in reverse. Reverse, that's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at that. 
Gray Wizard spins around, does a 180 on the back stretch, and Big Al trying to get around Gray Wizard and unable to do so. You got Big Al, Lily the Dog, Buckwild all trying to get around, but they cannot. And Gray Wizard just sitting back there, driving in reverse, crossing in first. That's what I'm talking about. That's styling and profiling. But I don't know if it was enough to get enough points to move on. No! Lily the Dog and Big Al are going to be the two cars, two drivers in Group 5. Moving on to the quarterfinals. Let's check out the stats on these two drivers while they head on over to shenanigans to catch a nice cold one after that race. Look at that. Big Al, two wins. Man, he did get a DNF, but you know what? Two wins is still two wins. That's 10 points. We'll be right back with Group 6. Hey, everybody. If you want to support our channel, head on over to our merch store over on Teespring, where you can get your commemorative Ramrod 400 commemorative tea or pint glass or pick up any of our other sweet merch and swag to support our channel we greatly appreciate it all right we are back with group six sticking up sticking up kick it off with coop devil from play worn racing not coop deville coop devil he'll be lining up against the best die cast attorney worldwide bob la blah from chaos canyon those two drivers will be joined by spy dude from aces high racing and i don't know what in the world that is a crate racer is is that can that even can that even drive man but last but certainly not least you got doc from doc speed shop in that draft nader the only pickup truck in this tournament all right you got coop devil and Bob LeBlanc on the front row, Spy Dude and whatever that blue car that's about to get blown away in the back row with Doc. Here they go for lap one. Coop Devil and, oh, Coop Devil almost bites in Kickapoo. Able to recover. Look at them all bunched up right there. Coop Devil crosses the line in first, followed by Doc in second. And, oh, no. Bob LeBlanc and Spy Dude nowhere to be seen. Check out the replay. Coop Devil almost loses it in Kickapoo. Doc tries to take advantage to get around Coop Devil, but unable to do so, which allows Bob LeBlanc and Spy Dude to catch up on the middle straight. You see him all bunched up right there, and oh, it looks like Spy Dude rolls it in Kaiju's lair. I have no idea how Doc had enough momentum to exit Kaiju's lair to take second place. But look at Bob LeBlanc, nose up in Kaiju's lair right next to Spy Dude on his side. Double DNF for those two cars. They're going to need some points. And man, they are starting from the back row for lap two. Let's see how they do here. Doc and Coop Devil on the front. Here they go, lap two. Coop Devil inching out, but there goes Doc. Doc gets the whole shot, followed by Coop Devil. But here comes the crate race. Oh, oh, Spy Dude hits gate five. Spy Dude hits gate five and, oh no, did he, did he stop Bob LeBlanc? No, come on. You see here in the replay, Spy Dude hits gate five right there and Bob LeBlanc has nowhere to go. You know, Bob LeBlanc does not like to lose, and he is probably very, very angry with Spy Dude right now because he just cost himself two points because Bob LeBlanc could have taken third place as they both come to a stop in Kaiju's lair. Third lap coming up. Man, it looks like Doc and Coop Devil are running away with eight points each, and Bob LeBlanc and Spy Dude have no points, but both of them starting on the inside row. Here they go, lap three. Spy Dude has the inside lane, and let's see, Spy Dude, oh no! Spy Dude hits gate three, wipes out everybody. Spy Dude is able to squeak out of the Kickapoo Pass exit to be first and he hits gate three 
takes out everybody. Look at this. How does Doc get by? Look at that. Doc is able to get under Spy Dude and get around and keep going. And Spy Dude, Coop Devil, and Bob LeBlanc all get taken out by Spy Dude and Gate 3. And it looks like Bob LeBlanc is shaking his fist outside his window at Spy Dude, and he is pissed. He is angry. Two DNFs for Bob LeBlanc specifically caused by Spy Dude. You don't want to mess with the best diecast attorney in the world, Spy Dude. I'm telling you, don't do it. Bob LeBlanc in the full position for the fourth and final lap, but this is already locked in. I don't think it matters. Look at that, Spy Dude trying to block the other drivers again. Spy Dude ain't here to race. Spy Dude is just out here to take out some cars. Man, that is some dirty racing Spy Dude. I can't believe you are lowering yourself to those kind of standards. As Bob LeBlanc pulls away, Spy Dude's trying to block Doc and Coop Devil to prevent them from finishing. Right here, hits the brakes in Kaiju's lair to get in their way again. Let's see the final points, but it don't matter. We know Coop Devil and Doc moving on to the quarter final round. Oh my word. Here are the stats for Doc and Coop Devil in that Hot Wheels 40 and that Draftnator. Look at that. Doc, two wins and his worst finish was third with a 6.08 fastest time. And Coop Devil just staying in every lap. Looky there. Here are your four drivers moving on to the quarterfinals. You got Doc. You got Coop Devil. You got Lily the dog. We all love Lily. And Big Al. What an amazing round three. And if you want to check out more great racing, head on over to Chaos Canyon YouTube channel. Wait, what? There's some drama down at the track? Turn on the police scanners. What? Drama. Hey, I came up, uh, came up with a great name for our car. Oh, yeah? Get this. You're Arcot Ramathorn. Ram. And I'm Rod Farber. Rod. Car Ramrod. Car Ramrod. You get it? Yeah, I got it. Rabbit. Say Car Ramrod. I got a Plymouth Voyager. Say Car Ramrod. Vermont Plates. Hold on. Vermont Plates. Alpha. God. Mustard. One. Niner. Decade. China. Check it. Roger 23. You didn't say it. Oh, I forgot. I wrote it on the paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There was definitely some drama. The drama llama down there at the finish line. Blah, blah, blah. Getting Spy Dude's car impounded for all the dirty racing. Well, both cars are done. They're not moving on. But you've got Coop Devil, Doc, Lily the Dog, and Big Al all moving on to the quarterfinals. And this was round three. It was amazing. Love it. You don't want to miss out on round four next week. Round four is the final of the initial groups, group seven and eight, to determine the last four cars moving on to the quarter final. So you don't want to miss it. Be sure to hit that subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss any future content from our channel. So all the drivers are heading down to shenanigans. You want to join us there too. Don't forget, I am Rubber Toe, and I am wishing everybody to be safe and hoping everyone had a Merry Christmas. Today is Boxing Day or Second Christmas. Doesn't matter where you're from. Have fun. Enjoy your family. And remember, keep your wheels on the road.